I need a bigger garden bed, so my mom and I are, we're gonna build a new one at the side of the shed. So we're back at it again. My mom feels that a tape measure gives you a wrong <laughs> <laughs> measurement. Look how long this stick is. <laughs> oh, that was so funny. Hi guys, so my mom and I just got back. This morning we took the goats to get disputted. They are doing great, running around, happy as can be. And so now we are doing some planting before rain comes tomorrow. I need a bigger garden bed, so my mom and I are using some wood we had left over from our raised garden bed last year. We're gonna build a new one at the side of the shed. So we're back at it again. This is gonna be all grass, vegetable gardens, sunflowers when we're done. This is the one that we built last year and I've got stuff temporarily planted in here right now until we have this new one done. This is my pile of free wood I picked up the other day. It is all free two by fours. They're cut but they're all cut in the same sizes. I'm gonna use this stuff to build my vegetable stand and there's not even nails in this stuff. It's perfectly good wood. So to start off, we're just doing a nice square cut, a clean cut on the end of the boards, and then we're gonna measure from there. So we're just doing both sides. So right now we've cut four pieces for the length of the garden box. So two on each side, because we're only going two boards high. And now we're going to cut this board into four equal pieces once we've got our square edges to be the ends. So now we need our pieces that are gonna go in the corners. And then in the middle, we've got them to attach our boards. And then we've also, under the dirt here, run a brace piece across. All you're gonna do is measure the width of your boards to know how high. So we need it 20 and a half inches. So we're just gonna mark that out and cut it. If you're too lazy to use a tape measure like us, you can just use one of your cut pieces. <laughs> well then you know they're all the same. <laughs> just line it up carefully. You could have measured wrong. Once you got your measurement, move the board. And this then you is can what cut. I always do. <laughs> Mom feels that a tape measure gives you a wrong <laughs> measurement. Because <laughs> depending on the side that the saw blade is on that it's cutting, it's not going to be the same. Oh, so. Compared to the wasted. So our <laughs> tip is don't use a tape measure. <laughs> well, it's the first I'm kidding, one you do. long panels first and securing our two by four at the end and then one piece in the middle. Depending on how long yours is, you would want two pieces in the middle just for extra strength. Yeah, and depending on how high you're doing it. Because we're just doing it two boards high and we don't have enough wood, <laughs> we're gonna do one in the middle. We're just attaching the ends to one side of the wall over here because where we're locating this is not actually level. So it's just gonna make it easier to assemble it once it's in place. We just dug a little trench along this side to level it out. We're just going to be putting twigs, leaves, different organic matter in the bottom 
add some compost from the horse manure, some topsoil, and get our plants in. That one? Oh yeah. And that one. So we planted some massive sunflowers back here. And when I say massive, 10 to 12 feet, Julia. No, that's just what thing. It's gonna be like gonna two be to three times a you. Oh yeah, way higher than the shed. And the reason we did that is this is the garden box we planted, or that we built. We've got our tomatoes growing and some cucumbers. And sunflowers are supposed to be a great way to provide support for climbing plants, is what I read. Good companion planting for these particular vegetables. Just kidding. <laughs> Kate just gave Duke a bath after her ride, and he like comes right away, goes to his little spot, rolls in the dirt, shakes it all off. Yeah, Duke likes to scratch up the grass and create like a dirt pit. And it's only really so he can roll in and it. It's only him that rolls in. <laughs> you it, can see his little wanted... patches throughout. And he's got like one by the gate. He's got like some over there. This one here. Julia just put a daisy on. Foxy and Kyla came over daisy. like, I want some daisies. I'm gonna go give this to Daisy. Take my pen. Kyla's interested in your EpiPen. How do you make flower I think you just you, break them. Here, come here. Yeah. So you break them, like you break them up, like around that. Oh, and then you take one. your nail and you split it in the middle there. That's how we did it when we were kids. Here, see, come here. Bring me your head. No, is there bugs on that? No. There, see, like a little crown. Look how long this stick is. I'm gonna see how many I can put on your head. Wait. Kyla. Oh my God! Look how many bugs are on this. Well, honey, they're just wild flowers. Ooh, look. Pretty. <laughs> Stevie's Ooh. like, I'm out of here. I just want to eat. Jack cares about a daisy. Neither do 